Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. And welcome to the home of FIFA career mode hints, tips and news. If you are new to my channel, I would be eternally grateful if you hit that subscribe button. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. And in today's video, I'll be checking out the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 3rd of March 2020. But the exciting news is following yesterday's title update and the subsequent squad update is the introduction of the South American Premier Club football competition, the Copa Libertadores. And what that means for career mode, if you are using a team that have qualified for the competition, the Copa Libertadores will be available now in that career mode. The bad news is though, is all of the Brazilian teams that have qualified for the Copa Libertadores have fake generic player names. For me, this takes away a lot of the realism for this competition. And as well as the Copa Libertadores, we also have the secondary club competition in South America, the Copa Sudamericana. And even though the Brazilian teams do have fake generic player names, these two competitions do add some depth to a South American career mode. Also added in the latest update were a selection of new Nike, Puma and Umbro boots, as well as a new Premier League ball. And given the introduction of the Copa Libertadores, there were quite a few new players added, even though none of them had a particularly high potential, except for a few of the fake Brazilian generic players. So let's move on to some of the real players added in the latest update. And first up is the re-edition of Anwar 8 El Hajj from Anderlecht. He's a central attacking midfielder or centre forward, with two star skills and a three star weak foot, 17 years of age, 61 overall, 80 potential, not available in the first window. Mamadou Karamoko from Wolfsburg, he's a striker, 19 years of age from France, with two star skills and a three star weak foot, medium attacking and medium defensive work rates, overall of 64, potential of 80, not available in the first transfer window. Matias Blengio, the goalkeeper from Club Atletico Tigre, has been re-added to FIFA 20 career mode. He's 21 years of age from Argentina, with a two-star weak foot. He's only 5'8", which is tiny for a goalkeeper. 67 overall, potential of 81. You can sign him straight away for about 1.4 million. And finally, someone we've been waiting for for ages in career mode, Karamoko Dembele of Celtic. He's a right winger, 16 years of age in career mode, 17 in real life, with four star skills and a three star weak foot. He's absolutely rapid, overall of 64, potential of 85, and a player that I correctly would be added around this date in a video that I uploaded around 10 months ago. So now I move on to checking out some of our career mode favourites who've had their potential upgraded in this week's squad update. And we start off with Odilian Kasunu from Club Bruge. He's a centre back, potential increased from 80 up to 81. Michael Karbownik from Legia Warsaw, who can play left back or centre back. He has a potential increased by a plus one up to an 81. David Hanko from Sparta Prague, who can play centre back or left back, 21 years of age, increase of plus one. Pavel Bouquet from Victoria Plessen, who can play central attacking midfield, central midfield or right midfield, potential increase from 80 up to 81. Jan Bryce Atiki from Granada, who's a central defensive midfielder or a central midfielder, 21 years of age, potential is up one to 81. Christian Mania from Cluj, who can play right back or centre back, potential increased by plus one, up to 82. Maxwell Cornet from Lyon, who can play right wing, left wing back or left wing, potential increased by plus one, up to an 82. David Zima from Slavia Prague, centre back, 18 years of age, potential upgraded by plus one, up to an 82. Bingaru Kamara, the goalkeeper from Strasbourg, that is potentially increased by a plus three, up to an 82. Robin Lenormand from Real Sociedad, is a centre back, 22 years of age, plus two, potential upgrade. Max Bird from Derby County, who can play central midfield or central defensive midfield, potential increased by a plus two, up to an 83. Aurelio Buter from Real Antwerp, he can play right back or right midfield, 76 overall, increase of potential by plus one. Anthony Kachi from Strasbourg, who can play left back, centre back or left wing back, potential increase by plus one, up to an 84. Justin Bijlow from Feyenoord, the goalkeeper, 21 years of age, 76 overall, potential upgraded by plus two, up to an 84. Up next is one of my personal favourite centre-backs in FIFA 20, and it's Josko Gvardiol of Dinamo Zagreb. He's only 17 years of age, potential upgraded by plus one, up to 85. 
Up next, a career mode favourite from as far back as FIFA 17, Kasper Dolberg, formerly of Ajax, now of OGC Nice. Potential increased by a plus one up to an 85, also has a real face. One of the best young centre-backs in FIFA 20 career mode is Marco Corner from Anderlecht. He's only 16 years of age in career mode, potential upgraded by one up to an 85. One of the most impressive young players in the Premier League this season is Arsenal's Bakayo Saka, who can play anywhere down the left-hand side, potential upgraded by plus one up to an 87. And finally, it's Adam Klocek from Sparta Prague, who's had his potential increased by plus one from 86 up to an 87. But we have to end today's video on a negative note. Yesterday's update came with this unwanted glitch. If you're looking at your match lineup in any competition that doesn't include a broadcast package, all your players' names will be listed as undefined. This is not acceptable and needs fixing as soon as possible. So those were the highlights from the career mode squad update from the 3rd of March 2020. But just a reminder to access any of the features, you will need to download the updates and start a brand new FIFA 20 career mode. So all that means to say is thank you so much for watching. Please remember to tune into my channel next time. But for today, it's FCG out.